हेलो सेवियर्स सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट अर्निंग पोटेंशियल इन ईच पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट ब्रांच स्टे ट्यून एंड फाइंड इट आउट सो फर्स्ट ब्रांच वी विल टॉक अबाउट इज रेडियोलॉजी इन रेडियोलॉजी फ्रेशर्स अर्न अबाउट वन पॉइंट एट टू टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स पर मंथ डिपेंडिंग ऑन द स्टेट एंड इंस्टीट्यूट एंड देर इज अलिंग टू द अर्निंग दैट इज फोर टू फाइव लैक्स पर मंथ But if you open your own setup, then there is no limits. You can earn in crores also. Same, almost same goes with our second branch, that is dermatology. A dermatology fresher gets about 1.2 to 1.8 lakh, depending on the state and institute. Earnings in the dermatology depends on the how well you communicate with the patients. And if you open your own setup, then you can earn in crores again. Third branch we will talk about is general medicine. A freshly passed general medicine guy gets around 1.2 to 1.8 lakhs per month. and your earnings depends on how you how you build up your goodwill among the patients and there is no ceiling to the earning if you open your own setup again you can earn in crores uh, fourth branch we will talk about is ops and gyne as you all know that it is a surgical branch after your post graduation in surgical branch your earnings depend on how good you surgeries you do and how you develop your goodwill among the patients a fresher of ops gyne may get around 1.5 to 2 lakhs depending on the state and institute fifth branch we will talk about is orthopedics Again, it is a surgical branch, and in the long run, your earnings depend on how good surgeries you do and how you you have developed your goodwill among the patients. A fresher orthopedics can get around one point five to two lakhs. Sixth branch we will talk about is psychiatry. In psychiatry, there is usually OPD based practice, and more you communicate with the patients, more you will attract the patients, and more you will earn. A freshly passed psychiatrist may get around one to one point five lakhs, depending on the state and Institute you you are practicing. Seventh and eighth branch we will talk about are ENT and ophthalmology. In both earnings are around 1.2 to 1.8 lakhs, and you can open your own setup in both. But investment amount will be more. Ninth branch we will talk about is anesthesia. This is very versatile branch. A freshly passed anesthetist may get around 1.5 to 2 lakhs, depending on how many hospitals he has joined. and depending on how much freelancing he is doing if he joins icu then he also gets around 2 to 2.5 lakhs and after 2 to 3 years of experience he can he or she can easily earns around 3 to 4 lakhs again it depends on the state and institute you are working tenth branch we will talk about is pulmonary medicine a freshly passed pulmonary medicine guy may get around 1.2 to 1.8 lakh per month and as you gain the experience again you will get money according to the procedures you do and uh, you can set up your own clinic as there are many tubercular patients and many pneumonia and copd patients are there in india you can easily open your own setup in this branch 11th branch we will talk about is pathology i think this is one of the most coolest branch of the <coughs> post graduation in this branch there is a disadvantage that you have to study a lot and there is no clinical touch if you want clinical touch then this is not branch for you a freshly passed pathologist may get around 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh and depend uh, it depends on how many labs he has he or she has joined and in own setup the earnings are again in crores now i will talk about microbiology it is almost as same as pathology as a branch and uh, as far as the remaining branches are concerned the main earning comes as a senior administrator or assistant professor positions in government medical or private medical colleges which are almost same around 1 to 1.5 lakh I hope you like the video. I was in the same situation exactly three years back, and at that time there was no one to help me. I was wondering that when I will clear my DNB, I will try to help each and every PG aspirant. So please like and subscribe. Your likes give me motivation to create more videos. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, myself Dr. Nishant signing off. Stay blessed.